how to add a shadow to a shape in Canva. Let's jump on it. By pressing the letter R on the keyboard, we can add a rectangle shape to our canvas. As soon as you do that, in the menu on top on the left side, you will find shape. Click on it. Then click on the desired shape. Now to add a shadow to your shape in Canva, do the following. If you're on a Mac, press and hold the Option key on your keyboard. And if you're on a PC, press and hold the Alt key. Then with your mouse hover over the shape and then drag it to the right. This will duplicate your shape. Next with your duplicate here selected, click on the color square in the upper left corner of the screen and change this to the color that you would like to have for your shadow. This will typically be black or something close to black. In our case here, we will go with black. Next, select your duplicate and then in the menu on top, click on position. Next, on the left side, make sure that layers and all is selected right here. As you can see, our black card here is now layered on top. However, as I just explained, this is actually our shadow layer. And we don't want to have this on top because the shadow obviously needs to be beneath our heart shape. So with that said, left click and drag that below the other heart. Just like that. Once that is the case, when we move our duplicate now, you can see that it goes behind our other heart, which is exactly what we need. And to use our black card as a shadow now, we simply need to move it into the right position. So just left click and drag to get this achieved. Once you're happy with the result, you can select both of these shapes and then right click and then click on group. Now whenever you're selecting this, both of these shapes are now grouped and always will move together. This technique obviously works with any shape that you can find here in Canva. Now for those of you who have Canva Pro, I would like to show you a slightly more sophisticated method to add a shadow to a shape in Canva. First of all, press R on your keyboard to add a square to the canvas. Next click on the shape and then click on shape in the top menu. Next, select the desired shape. I'm just going to change the color of the shape for a second. You can do that by left clicking on the shape and then click on the color square here in the top menu. And under solid colors, you can then simply choose one of these colors right here. So in this case, we're going with red here. And the next thing you wanna do is to click on share here in the upper right corner of the screen and then click on download. Make sure that the file type is set as PNG. Then take the option transparent background and make sure that the correct page is selected here under Select Pages, which in our case would be page 1. After that, click on Down below and then download your shape. Once your shape is downloaded, re-upload it to Canva. You can do that by dragging and dropping your file directly onto Canva. It's that simple. So in my case here in Chrome, I can find the downloads right here. And from here, I can simply drag it onto Canva just like that and the file will be uploaded. Alternatively, you can also go to Uploads here in the left sidebar and then just use the Upload Files button here on top to upload your shape. Your shape can be found under Images right here. From here, either click on it to add it to the canvas or you can also just drag it from here to add it to the canvas. You can now delete the original shape that we added before. We don't need it anymore. We just need this photo copy of the shape. So I will just make this one a little bit bigger here. So, so now it has more or less the same size as our original one. And now the beauty of this trick is when you actually left click on this shape, on top you will get the exact same options that you usually just get with photos but not with shapes. But as we exported our shape and then re-uploaded it to Canva, it now behaves as a photo. And the advantage of that is that we can now easily add a shadow to it because Canva actually does offer a shadow feature for photos but not for shapes. That is actually why we had to do this annoying thing with exporting first and then re-importing our shape to Canva again. So now with your shape selected, on top click on edit photo. And under effects here, you will then find shadows. Click on it. And you can then easily add a shadow to your shape by either clicking on glow, drop or outline. Most of the time you would probably like to add a drop shadow. So that's what we're using right now. So I click here on drop and just like that, our rectangle now has a lovely shadow. But not only that, on the left side, we then have a couple of sliders to make the result even better. For example, we could increase the intensity right here or we could remove the blur. And this is how you add a shadow to a shape in Canva. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to smash the like button and subscribe for more Canva tutorials.